Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 4, joined again by James, this time for a £15,000 uh, real life budget challenge. So we're going to search the internet for car listings and see what we can come up with. Um, I've found this, well almost, I found an 840, um, so yeah, 850 CSI is close, but maybe not quite, um, but yeah, we kind of were slightly lenient on models and because it's always difficult to find something that perfectly matches. Um, but anyway, I've ended up in this BMW 8 Series, um, so let's head up to Edinburgh and meet James to see what car he has found for 15000 I like your choice, because I tried to go for one of those. Oh, yeah. Well, and then found it was a but prize it... car. Yeah, and then found I didn't have it, so... Ended up going for this one instead. It was thirteen nine nine five. Ten nine nine five. Okay. That's for an so eight forty, not an eight fifty, so it's not a perfect match. Ah, close now. All right. So, what engine have you got in yours? Then that's the. It's a V, it's a V twelve. Ooh. Mine's a V6, so half the cylinders. Probably almost as much power. How much power's that got? This one. Uh, I'll have to start looking up the four. 5.5 litre. Ah, uh, this one's a 3 litre. 372 horsepower. Mine does not say. Uh, 3 litre. Twin turbo charged V6, uh, pushing at 320 horsepower. So you got 52 more horsepower, but your car weighs quite a bit more than mine. You got a six-speed, six-speed rear-wheel drive. Just waiting for petrol to join the session. Come on, all-wheel drive GTO. Get a bit of drifty action. Is this what you do when you get your new car? You lap slowly around the roundabout. That would be good. All right. Is there a race? Do we start with the top top speed run? Uh, that's just round yeah, the corner. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah, we'll drive around there and try. Yeah, pop ups. Yeah. Seals yeah. not. I'm surprised actually. What's what? Guys, quite late for pop ups. Oh no, I haven't got pop-ups on this one. Oh, sixth gear's working now. 177. Come on, come on, get 180. Yes! I think that's the fastest I'm going to reach. Him. Yeah, you almost have to reach it before that corner. 168 miles an hour. Yeah, so I got 180, so it's... Need more speed, yeah. Not, not massive difference, but I'm not surprised. Right, to a drag strip. I can't get you at the... <laughs> top speed. A Centenario for 15 grand. <laughs> yeah, I was I don't, I don't think they the, read uh... the title. I 
good start, maybe. Not a modified one. No, I missed the gear. Come on. I can't tell where you are. I can't see jumping. Uh, first place in the... 21.5 and 21.5. <laughs> right, I think we need to do that again without the... Uh... People on the ridiculously expensive toys. Not to mention the registration bill for cylinders, bloody hell. <laughs> registration bill? Is that like our road? I guess that is like our road tax. I think we discussed this one night. Yeah, probably. I think it's, it's the same idea. No tax. We get charge so much per cylinder. Close. I think that's about as close as it was last time. Yeah, Beamer's real yeah, I, I was faster that time, I did a 5-5-5 five, five, five last time. Because Forza doesn't do anything other than factory paint jobs in this game, for some reason. That Honda tried to kill me. Why are you slowing down there, you stupid fool? Come on, you with your monster 312. Get past everybody. Don't break there, Bush. We didn't look up a classic Jaguar XJS. XJS. I didn't spend money on aftermarket wheels, so... I didn't. These are factory wheels. They're just stretched? They're just 20 inches, not 17s. Imagine putting 17s on a... ...on a performance car. Imagine a 17 inch wheels on the new 8 series. I'd love to see them in reality, but you know, I probably might have to go to the Avion's Poisson Museum in France. Because I'm assuming that would be a quite a rare car. I think they made like three of those in that body style. I love to read up on it because the I've got like a show guide and it's got a page of information on all the cars that were there. That's cool. Is it just that time of the year where they do all the car shows from this other? Uh, getting getting to the end of it. Now, I wish I had the Opal. Look at that rally car for the road. 
Also, the conclusion is anyone that has 15,000 lying down the back of their sofa needs to go and buy a BMW buy. with a 12-cylinder engine. Oh, I don't know. That's the most reliable choice. Yeah, we, do. we can't do the <laughs> how much does it cost in repairs six months later challenge. Well, not unless we crash the darn things and then do they you remember stop that? Working, but... Do you remember that Top Gear challenge? Where it was like, yeah, yeah, I'd cars we can get for the price of a, and one of them was an 8 series. Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh, for the price of a... I can't remember what the cost was on the 8 series. It was like a $10,000 Nissan or something. Yeah, but one of them had... Nissan. I can't remember which. There was this and a big Mercedes, wasn't there? But I can't remember. One of them had no problems and one of them had a really expensive thing go wrong. Yeah, it was Jeremy Clarkson had the, the... There was something went wrong with the Mercedes that he was driving. And it cost him, what was it? It was something horrendous. It was, uh. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine. But then it's like, well, why, did, why don't you just throw the car away at that point? You know, it's like. You, yeah, it's only worth you really, grand. And you spent, you know, almost half that on repairs. I think he kept it and drove it for a while, didn't he? Actually, that was interesting, because that was a while ago, and I'm pretty sure the car they were trying to get something cheaper than was about 10000 Yeah. So, so if BMW 850's gone up five grand since then... I guess they have. The classic car them. market is a bit weird. So, there we go. That's what happened comparing our two £15,000 real-life classics here on Forza Horizon 4. Uh, yes, they weren't entirely accurate. The BMW wasn't quite the V12 nice one like this um, that I found online. But yeah, ended up looking like this. I think it looks kind of cool in the Metal Flake purple with the slightly increased wheel size. Although I would potentially shrink that back one at this point. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is what happened in today's challenge here on Forza Horizon 4. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back with the next video very soon.